My new concerto for percussion and orchestra, written for Colin Curry, um, is a piece which is in one continuous movement but in three main sections. When writing this piece, I had many, many instruments to choose from, but I, I wanted to restrict that a little bit and to have quite clear uh, different instrument choices for each section. So I was thinking a lot in this piece about how I could let the percussion really sound like the solo instrument, because the danger is with a percussion concerto that it can end up sounding like an orchestral piece with lots of percussion in it, um, which is really what I wanted to avoid. But quite early on, I knew that I wanted it to be about pitched instruments, mainly. Um, I love the vibraphone. And so I had this idea that I wanted part of the piece to be about metals. The first part of the piece is for vibraphone. It has quite an extended cadenza passage, but the cadenza is for glockenspiel and quartals mixed up. So it's very, very resonant and it's very, very bright and very, very high as well. So for the second part of the piece, I really wanted to sort of challenge myself and write for unpitched percussion or instruments of indefinite pitch. That music is alternated with something much brighter. So this is when I use a marimba for the first time. And then when you get to the third movement, the marimba really just takes over and he's using the whole range in a very, very virtuosic way. And so the whole thing is, is for marimba, the third section, until you get right to the end and we go back to just a, a kind of coda, really, which is for glockenspiel and quartals again. The idea of this piece is that it's kind of flickering to life and it takes a while to get going. It keeps starting and then these different worlds will open out and eventually it becomes fully formed.